It was a hot and humid night in La Entrada, Honduras. Nesai Perez, a 16-year-old girl who was three months pregnant, had just returned home from her job at a local coffee shop. She was feeling tired and nauseous, so she decided to take a nap in her hammock outside her house. She didn't know that it would be the last time she would see the stars. As she drifted into sleep, she felt a sudden jolt of pain in her chest. She tried to scream, but no sound came out. She felt like she was suffocating, and her vision went dark. She had suffered a severe panic attack that caused her heart to stop beating. Her family, who heard her gasp for air, rushed to her side. They tried to revive her, but it was too late. They called a local priest, who declared her dead on the spot. He said she had been possessed by an evil spirit, and that they had to bury her as soon as possible. The next day, they dressed her in a white wedding gown and placed her in a wooden coffin. They carried her to the cemetery, where hundreds of mourners gathered to pay their respects. They lowered her into the ground and covered her with dirt. They thought they had said goodbye to their beloved daughter. But they were wrong. Nasai was not dead. She was in a state of catalepsy, a condition that causes a temporary loss of consciousness and muscle rigidity. She had been buried alive. She woke up in the darkness, feeling a crushing pressure on her chest. She realized she was inside a coffin, and that she couldn't move or breathe. She panicked and started to scream and bang on the lid. She hoped that someone would hear her and save her. But no one did. For hours, she cried and prayed, hoping for a miracle. She felt her baby kicking inside her womb, and she wondered if they would both die in this horrible way. She felt a sharp pain in her head, and blood trickled from her nose. She knew she was running out of oxygen. She gave up hope and accepted her fate. She closed her eyes and waited for death to take her. Meanwhile, her family was at home, trying to cope with their loss. They heard strange noises coming from Nasai's room, and they thought it was her spirit haunting them. They decided to visit her grave and ask for forgiveness. They arrived at the cemetery at night, and they were shocked by what they heard. They heard Nasai's screams coming from inside the grave. They couldn't believe it. They thought it was a miracle. They ran to the grave and started to dig with their bare hands. They broke the coffin lid and saw Nasai's face, pale and bloody, but alive. They pulled her out of the coffin and hugged her. They cried tears of joy and relief. They called an ambulance and rushed her to the hospital. But it was too late. Nasai had suffered irreversible brain damage due to lack of oxygen. She was pronounced dead on arrival. Her family was devastated. They had lost their daughter twice in one day. They buried her again, this time for good. They still wonder how this could have happened. How could the doctors and the priest have missed the signs of life? How could they have buried their daughter alive? They will never know the answers. They will never forget the horror of that night. The night they heard their daughter screaming from inside the grave.